it's me, Marco. Today I'm gonna show you how to drive the style of Junji Ito. You know that funny guy who reacts on cats on the internet? Yeah, this is his art. Yeah, his art is really amazing, and Junji Ito is my favorite horror manga artist, and one of my favorite manga artists in general, and yeah, today I'm gonna explain you how to draw in a style of Junji Ito. First, I'm gonna explain characteristics of his art style, and later in the video, I'm gonna draw in his art style and show you how to do it. So, let's begin with the basics of his art style. Shapes of the head are like just any other mangas, rounder chins for female characters and sharper chins for male characters. Also you can see that his main characters looks a little bit similar. But real characteristics of his art style is eyes, nose and lips. He draws eyes more realistically, you can see shape of the eyes is a bit different for female and male characters. Females have rounder eyes with thick eyelashes and also bottom eyelashes are more visible and males have thinner eyelashes and bottom eyelashes are less visible, but they have sharper eye shapes. And yeah, males have thicker eyebrows and females have thinner eyebrows. I absolutely love how he draws noses. It's very simple and easy, but way of drawing gives our artwork more realistic look. Female characters have noses like this. You just draw two nostrils and add a little bit of cross hatching and that's pretty much done. But for male characters you need to draw bigger noses or more visible noses. You know what I mean, not, not to draw uh, ginormous, gigantic noses. You know, draw a normal nose for men, but you know, male noses needs to be a little bit more visible. And finally lips. Unlike other manga authors, I see Jujito drops smaller and bigger lips on both types of characters. Lips for female characters are bigger, sometimes with shading like this, and male characters have smaller lips with usually no shading. Shading is the thing what makes Junji Ito's work so special. His way of shading makes horror more horror, if I can say that. 90% of his shading is cross-hatching, and most of his cross-hatching is on the face. He mostly do cross-hatching around the eyes to make characters look more scary or scared or more dramatic at the moment. He shades hair in a few ways, but most important ones is just solid black with white reflections, and if characters have a lighter hair, then he adds single hair strings like this. Now when I explain main characteristics of his art style, it's time for me to draw and explain you how to draw in his art style. Okay, now I'm gonna draw face features. I'm gonna draw eyes, nose, mouth and eyebrows. This is face features I'm gonna draw right now and later I'm gonna do better uh, shape of the hair because shape of the hair that I did right now is not that accurate to the actual style of Junji Ito. So let's begin with the drawing face features. Okay, sketch is done, but before I continue to line art, I'm gonna turn my sketch into blue color. Well, why I'm doing this? Well, that's because when sketch is in blue color, that makes bigger contrast between line art and sketch and it's much more easier to draw.
Well, that's it for this video. If you find this video enjoyable, you can leave a like and you can subscribe if you really want. At least it's free. So that's it. See you in the next video. Goodbye.